Hi right, guys, this is a video uh, not on uh, the usual Windows XP software. This time I'm talking about virtual machines and I've ma managed to get the first ever version of Microsoft Windows to run in a virtual machine. Uh, the things that you see in this list are what I use to get it. A VMware Workstation is basically you can make a computer inside a computer so it's an emulator which emulates a computer inside your computer and you can control your keyboard and mouse for this computer's keyboard and mouse uh, so here you've got memory, hard disk, CD-ROM drive, floppy, sound adapter, all different things like that uh, Windows 1.0 uh, if you remember it because I certainly don't because it was before I was born I believe it was released in 1985 because at the moment on Windows XP, we're in version 5.1.26. If you're on Vista, it'll be 6. Point something or other. Um, but with a bit of DOS know how, I've managed to get Windows 1.0 running in a virtual machine. This is just an extension of DOS, this version of Windows. So I think past Windows 95, it be became its own system and starts. So you don't even see, because this is a DOS prompt, but you, do, you don't even see that now when you boot Windows. So uh, let's start the machine. Power on. Uh, we're not going to install VMware tools because I'm pretty sure they don't have VMware tools for Windows 1.0. And as you can see, we've got MS-DOS version 3.30. This probably doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but in the old days uh, this used to always start with the computer uh, enter the current date it's 2000, oh no, click it, 2008 current time we'll have to move this down a second uh, as you can see as you can see it says an A here that means it's on the A drive uh, if you notice the Windows XP version it says C and it says where I am basically uh, but in this one you actually have to type prompt $P $G to get it the same style as you get in the Windows XP version then what we're going to do is we're going to change to drive C uh, I've installed it into the Windows directory usually this would start automatically with later versions but you actually have to physically go into the directory and type it in so here we have you notice the the startup was a bit mangled but that's that's no problem this is going to ask me for this it keeps asking for a disk in the drive but I can't be bothered to put it in because I've got everything installed on the hard drive so we just keep cancelling this and eventually uh, unless it will let me do ok which it won't cancel, cancel, cancel. oh there we go and this is Windows 1.0 I've seen several um, several screenshots of it but not actually seen it in action so this is you are looking at Windows 1.0 as you can see it's not much <laughs> you have to do Alt and S to go to special and change the directory I'm going to go backwards to the Windows directory and it can't change it so we're going to go to the C directory for some reason it won't do that so here we are on the root of the drive just go enter into the Windows directory and here we have several files that are on the computer so we just start clock wow isn't that amazing this is Windows 1.0 clock as you can see it's very basic you have to use special alt and space to get out of things, uh, other things. Paint. This is what paint looked like in Windows 1.0. Amazing. I haven't got the mouse working on this. If anyone manages to get it working, then well done you. Uh, that's paint. Just showing you around this Windows 1.0. What's included? Uh, control panel. That is that is brilliant. Control panel there. Uh, installation and setup. No, pressed on the wrong one. Session, and we'll close this. What else have we got? Windows Write, which is now been taken off and is now called WordPad. So you can basically type anything here. And 
that's pretty much it really there's not much else to show you about Windows 1.0 but it is possible to install it on a virtual machine and I haven't seen it on YouTube just seen screenshots so just showing you that it can be done on a Windows XP machine thanks for watching my video uh, if you like what I've just done if you want to see how I did it I can explain it uh, it might take a bit longer than 10 minutes but I'll I'll be happy to show it to you show how I did it uh, please comment and rate and thanks for watching my video again